Hello, my name is Luisana Interago. I talk about primary and secondary syphilis. Definition Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection disease caused by the spirochet bacterium Trypanema pallidum. This bacterium causes infection when it gets into broken skin or mucous membranes, usually of the genital. Syphilis is most often transmitted through sexual contact, although it also can be transmitted in other ways. There were 12 million new cases of infection in 1999. Would you know what to do if you were infected with syphilis? Today's topic was requested by Legit Red XP. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, be sure to subscribe and write your suggestions in the comment section below. Syphilis is a highly contagious sexually transmitted disease spread by sexual activity and exchanging bodily fluids. It's characterized by rashes and sores throughout your body, as seen here. Not only does it affect those infected, but can also be passed along to babies during pregnancy, causing a high rate of prenatal death. Since 2000, syphilis rates have been increasing in North America, Europe, and Australia. Infection rates are about seven times greater in men than in women, with African Americans accounting for almost half of all cases. Early stages of syphilis present sores consisting of small, painless ulcers. The second stage then leads to rosy, copper penny rashes on your hands and feet, along with moist warts in the groin, swollen lymph glands, fever, and white patches on the inside of your mouth. It then progresses to severe problems with your brain, heart, and nerves, causing blindness, deafness, dementia, and eventual death. Fortunately, syphilis is easily treated with penicillin. Though Ties, primary syphilis. Symptoms of primary syphilis include chancre, a small painless, open sore or ulcer on the genitals, mouth, skin, or rectum that should heal by itself in three to six weeks. A swollen lymph nodes in the area containing the chancre, the bacteria continue to multiply in the body, but there are few symptoms until to the second stage. Secondary syphilis symptoms include the rash, the most common symptoms which often involves the palms of the hands and soles of the feet, may occur ulcers called mucous patch in or around the mouth, vagina or penis, at where it wet patch of the genitals or skin folds may appear. They are called condylomar syphilic. Other symptoms such as fever, genital malaise, loss of appetite, muscle age, joint pain, a swollen lymph nose, vision change, and hair loss. Syphilis is a bacterial disease that affects both men and women. In the primary stage, the symptoms of syphilis include a genital ulcer that's painless that may or may not be seen. As, and in the secondary stage of syphilis, that may include a generalized body rash that also includes the palms and the soles. Syphilis can reoccur if it's not treated. The symptoms can leave and then come back if it's not treated. However, if it's treated, the symptoms can reoccur if there's reinfection. Untreated syphilis after many years, um, it can affect the brain and it usually manifests as dementia. Advantage, the regular use of condoms to reduce the risk of contracting. To cure syphilis, early diagnosis is crucial in early stage of the disease, followed by a simple treatment with antibiotics such as penicillin. Disadvantage, in a considerable number of people, the disease progresses to the symptomatic latency period, which can be prolonged for years before progressing to the advanced stage of syphilis, the last phase occurs the most serious complications and may affect the brain or central nervous nervous neurosyphilis. The cardiovascular system, systems which inflammations of the aura producing aneurysms, 
it mainly affects sexually active adults between 20 and 35 years old. However, if pregnant women gain pass in on to their babies at any stage of pregnancy. They change according to the stage of the disease as well. So normally what you get right at the very beginning um, is that you get a little ulcer, uh, maybe one, normally just one ulcer, um, that isn't painful at all and normally the area uh, which you're affected with syphilis. You know, so that tends to be in the genitals, but it might also be um, in the mouth or around the bottom as well. Um, that will heal on its own, and a lot of people don't even notice that they have that ulcer at the beginning. Um, and then after that, there are various different symptoms you can get in what's called secondary syphilis, uh, which is the next stage. So the one that's most obvious is a rash that. Uh, covers most of your body and typically covers the palms and the soles of your feet as well which is what makes it a bit different to a lot of other rashes you can get. Um, you might also get other symptoms such as you know, feeling like um, you're generally unwell, like you're weak, tired, you're a bit nauseated, maybe you've got um, a bit of a fever as well. Congenital syphilis. Babies born to a woman who has syphilis can become inferior through the placenta or urine beer. Most newborns with congenital syphilis have no symptoms, although some experience a rash on the palms of their hands and the soles on their feet. Later symptoms may include deafness, touch, deformities, and sailed nose, where the bridge of the nose collapses. Diagnosis. It can be diagnosed directly causing the infection cells or ponemopodidiums or past parts of it. If the stack will through the indirect diagnosis immune response indirectly. Through direct diagnosis of syphilis, the microorganisms produced by the body against infections, I detect antibodies against T, validating the test by the serological techniques as analysis of love serial with treponemal and non-treponemal tests. The rash on your hands and feet will go away whether or not you get diagnosed, you will still have syphilis. Once those go away, you may have a period of time where there are no symptoms whatsoever, but then you would enter the tertiary stage or what's called the latent stage, and that can last for years. And that stage has no symptoms whatsoever. You still have syphilis. You still have the infection in your body. And the infection starts to work on some of your internal organs. It may start to affect your sight. And a worst case scenario can lead to dementia or insanity and death. The only way to test for syphilis in the latent stage is through a blood test. You can still treat syphilis and it will cure the bacterial infection, but all of the damage that's been done to your body from the syphilis at that stage is not corrected, you will have that damage for the rest of your life. So the key with syphilis is really early detection and early treatment, which can absolutely cure it. The best way to prevent syphilis infection is to use some sort of barrier method, such as a latex condom, or a dental dam, or a female condom. Treatment is treated with Intravenous antibiotic primarily, it has been the rare disease in no place, but it's made a resurging, especially in patients who have AIDS. Uh, multiple effects on the body, 
it's treated with IV antibiotics um, primarily. Um, it is has been a, a more rare disease in most places. However, it has made a resurgence, especially especially in patients who have AIDS. There are uh, three different stages of syphilis, and the first stage is treated with antibiotics, as I mentioned. Um, for secondary and tertiary syphilis, um, more aggressive treatment is used. Um, actually, later in the third stage, there's not any treatment that's really present for the effects that happen during tertiary syphilis that were there are blood vessel changes um, in the arteries in the chest, and there's also there could be effects on um, the person's mind and dementia that happens. Uh, an example of that would be Al Capone developed dementia related to syphilis. Is to apply in Ecuador. According to a study of the prevalence of syphilis, 2012 in Ecuador data indicate that this disease is present in groups of 15 54 years. 83.15% risk groups are homosexual, bisexual, sex workers, and uniform persons deprived of liberty. Although sex workers, women, have acquired very knowledge to prevent sexually transmitted diseases, represents a growth which by their stenogenerate in terms of socioeconomics status is healed. Environments and war plagues made latent possibility of the choir of transmitting this disease. Researchers have found a new way to detect HIV and syphilis in just 15 minutes, all from your home. Well, from anywhere, actually. Researchers at Columbia University have developed a new smartphone app that can detect HIV and syphilis with a finger prick. The researchers came up with a dongle, an accessory that attaches to your smartphone or computer that uses an enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. Basically, it has to use to detect antigens, proteins viruses produce in the body. The dongle costs just $34. That's much, much cheaper than similar Eliza lab equipment that can cost upwards of $18,450 by researchers' estimates. The app has already been tested by the researchers in Rwanda. The country had long struggled with HIV and mother to child transmission rates of the disease are high. In addition, Conclusion Syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease. Progress to critical stage is not treated early and can cause serious health problems. Any sexually active person is exposed. Even pregnant women can be inferred by their partners. Also, children through placenta from mother to child and cause anormalities or even death to the child.